Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use Tasker to block phone numbers. Uh, this is going to be part one of two. Uh, in part two, I'm going to show you how to make a scene and create a shortcut to your home screen. Uh, well, I'm going to show you how to look, how it looks like before I'm done with with part one. Anyway, start Tasker. Click on the home home button. Click on Add to add a new project. Give it a call. Give it a name for the project, which is going to be Blocker. Okay, we're going to make a new profile. Uh, I'm going to create three profiles for this project. Profile one is going to block everybody. Profile two is going to blo block everybody except uh, numbers in my contact list. Profi profile three is going to block everybody, including contact in the contact list, except the ones in the favorite contact list. Okay, profile one is going to block everybody. So it's gonna block all. Uh, give her, give her, if you want to do the scene with me, then give everything a name. That way it'd be easier to make the scene. Block all. Uh, it's gonna be an event. Phone, phone ringing. Uh, option, leave an optional, uh, optional line blank. If you want to block all numbers in that profile. But for the sake of explaining, uh, if you want to block one number, you just write that number down. And you are done. You go back. If you want to add another number, forward slash, second number, and you keep on going. But that's not practical or what I need to do right now. So I'm going to erase that. If you want to block an area code, you can block uh, a certain numbers. Uh, I'm sorry, all numbers from an area code by entering the area code number and the star button. If you want to add the second area code, forward slash. Forward slash means or. So if any number from this area code or from this area code called you, is going to block them. And you keep adding as many area code as you like but that's also not what I need to do but this for this profile I'm gonna leave it blank because that's all I need to do is block everybody every number that calls me add a new task call it block done for the task I'm gonna add phone and call and that's done for the task Actually, for the profile, I need to modify the profile a little bit. Uh, click on Hold on Profile. Click Add, State, Phone, Call, and leave it on Incoming. So if an, a, uh, an incoming call and the phone is ringing, it's gonna block that. It's gonna block that number. So this profile blocks everybody. Oops. Okay, we're going to make a second profile that blocks everybody, but not numbers in a contact list. So we're going to add a new profile. We're going to call it Allow Contacts. Okay, same thing. Event. Phone ringing. Phone and then phone ringing. Uh, for the option here, we're going to have to write a few things. For the option, it's going to be an, a not. So an exclamation mark means not. So a number that's not in the contact list. So I'm going to hit on the search icon. I'm going to hit any contact. So a number that's not in the contact list is going to be blocked. But also I want to add... You know, there shouldn't be a slash, forward slash between those two. Forward slash, I want to put a forward slash before that. And then I'm going to put a zero. What this means is, if a, a phone number that has a caller ID blocked 
will also be uh, blocked from ringing. So a caller ID, phone that's blocked, or a number that's not in my contact list will be blocked from ringing. Okay. We're gonna use the same, the same task we used in the first profile. Okay. If you want to add, if you want to add the same uh, state for the first profile, phone, call, incoming. So for this second profile is the same as the first profile. If the phone is ringing and it's an incoming call, the phone is ringing from. If the phone is ringing from a caller ID block number or a non uh, number in my contact list, it will be blocked. Okay. Third profile, which is going to be very similar to these two, but this one is going to ring only from my favorite folder. So profile, give it a name, allow favorites. Okay, again, event, phone, phone ringing. And for this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use zero forward slash and exclamation mark, search icon, favorite icon. But I'm going to make sure that there is no forward slash in between the exclamation mark and the folder okay clear on that please uh, again I'm gonna explain what this means a caller ID number or a number that's not in the favorite contacts will be blocked go back we're gonna use the same task we used the first time block and we are done so we're done with it with with three profiles and one task to do the same job uh, if you hit the play button you'll see a green dot on it that means the task is working and if there was a call it would be blocked uh, let me go ahead and do a test on this and see if it works so I'm gonna go ahead and call myself Everything is on, so okay. Here's the moment of truth. Am I ring one or half a ring? And then we'll stop. See that it started to ring and then it stopped, which is awesome. So everything is working great. Now let's get a little fancier. Let's go into tasks. Now if you if you happy with this, you are done. This is this is all you need, you are done. But you can add a few things. Uh, the, the first thing I'm gonna add is a notification and the notification and the status notification that a, a phone number is blocked. So on the on the task profile we'll add another one after the block. Oops. Nope. We'll open the task, the block task, and add to it by hitting the plus sign, alert, notify, and the, the text I want it to notify me is the number that's blocked and the time. And if you want to add the date, you can, of course. So you click on the, on the line, you hit the tags, and you go to the tasker predefined predefined uh, variables oops I passed them so we're gonna call we're gonna go to the call there are two two sets of call there's call date out call date in call time out call time in call name in call name out we want the n because those are the numbers that came in so we want the caller number n make sure there's a space between the profiles 
and caller call time n. So we'll go to the call time n. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make more, I'm gonna put a little bit more space in between them. So it will, on a notification bar, it will give me the number and the time I, the phone block numbers. If you want to add an icon, you can use the built-in icons. I know Tasker has a, a phone icons here, so I'm going to use those if I can see them. You can use whatever uh, you like. I'm going to use this here. Symbol means it's hung up. Here, please. And I will need a title for it. Let's say blocked. Block numbers. Okay. So anytime it blocks a number, it's going to end the call and it's going to notify me up there on top that uh, a notification, uh, uh, a phone number has been blocked. Okay. If you want to, if you're done here, you're done. If you're happy with it, you're happy. But I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add a right to file. So it will keep adding whatever phone number it blocks. It will write it down. It will write the time. It will write the date. And it will keep it on, on for me for future references. So what I'm going to do is hit the plus button. Go to file. Write a file. Uh, I'm sure if you have a rooted phone, it will be a lot easier to do. So I'm going to do it the easy way and then I'm going to show you how to do it the hard way. So the easy way is to hit on the search icon and it will give you uh, your your phone file browser inside. I'm going to hit the go back button once or twice till I see the list of the SD card because I want that file on the SD card. So I'm going to tap on the SD card and then when I'm when I reach what I want see if the hard way is to go first and create a folder but with the rooted phones you can create the file right away so I'm gonna click on the on the path right away and it will give it to me right here and over here I'm gonna give my file a name I'm gonna call it call blocker and then dot txt okay that's the file name and the file path what it's gonna write is the time the call came in actually the I wanna write the, the number first caller number first give it space if you don't give it space, that's going to win, will understand that it is a variable. So a space is very important. Call time n. Hit space a couple of times. Go back to call date n. Okay, call date n. And make sure you tick the append uh, mark that way it keep adding to that list and you're done okay that's uh, let me clear my notification okay go back give it another test and see what happens See, it rings for like a second and then shut off. The other phone number, the other phone you hear is uh, my house number, so it's not really connected to this one. Okay, let's go in. Uh, let's go in notification. You will see. You will see the block number and the phone number that it's blocked.
and uh, working fine. If you want to go in uh, in uh, files and see where it throw down where it throw down that uh, where it created the file. Oops, we need to go on the SD card. Call blocker on the bottom. It's already started one. And this is the time, the date, and the phone number. And it will keep adding more and more as you get locked. Okay, but let, let's go back into task and sh well, actually, while we're here, if you can't do it the way I just did, what you need to do is go on the SD card right here, SD card, and you click on new, click on folder, you give it a name. whatever name you want you click OK okay now this is the folder we just made you press and hold you go to more you go to properties and you copy path and you exit your file explorer go back to tasker And take a second. Okay, you go to the block section over here. You go to the right file, and you erase all this. And you press and hold, and you paste. And you're not finished yet. You write a forward slash, and you give your you give your file a name. And don't forget the dot txt and you're done that's another way of doing it and pretty much you're done here this is the end of part one uh, this project should be working and blocking calls uh, also you can turn you can turn the profiles on and off whatever you which one you don't want okay we'll leave the I'm going to leave it a lot of my favorites to comment right now. But this is what we're going to do uh, next time I uh, in a day or two when I finish this. This is the, the shortcut to my home screen. And this is what it looks like. You can turn it on from here, on and off. You can go to your file that you created. Uh, that you created the list of and it's going to be right here this is my old list from my blocking which is going to be nice so this is what what it's going to look like it's going to it's going to look like a professional made app also i added kill hangout because i have hangout on my phone and it stupid app keep bringing anytime anybody drinks so i i also kill it when i when i block phone numbers which is comes in really handy so this is what I'm going to show you how to do this scene and it's a great practice for Tascard because there's a lot of variables and a lot of splits and a lot of uh, uh, files and stuff like that so to the next time thanks for watching and goodbye